Hey everyone. So today I want to talk a little bit about intuition versus persistence. So both are valid and we use both for different reasons. But something I'm still working out is with persistence, with continuing with something complete, going along with something until completion, despite the obstacles, no matter what, versus intuition telling us, hang on, change something or do something else or leave it and come back later. I haven't quite got that balance yet. Um, I tend to go bullet a gate with something, but then maybe I give up too easily. Maybe I go bullet a gate with too many things. Maybe I don't use my intuition enough. Maybe I use it. Who knows? But this is something I am curious about, that thinking about the times when you've used your intuition to change something you were doing versus the time when you persisted even though it hasn't felt right. So my good one is in the garden. This afternoon I was out there pulling out some weeds and some runners that had overrun the veggie garden and um, cut my finger, not badly, but I cut it enough that I had to come in and wash it up. So I thought, oh, well, there's a tree that fell down in the storm. I'll grab the tree cutters and start cutting it down. I would normally saw it from the bottom, but, you know, as Pete said, it's probably not a very valid way of starting. So I'm going to start at the other end and cut it down. I could do that and still make sure this finger was in a Band-Aid and wasn't bleeding everywhere. Um, but not only did I get scratched with the tree because I wasn't really dressed appropriately in long shirt and long pants, but the mozzies were yelling in my ear. You know that little mozzie sound when it's running in your ear and it's yelling? So my intuition said, hang on, can't see any snakes or anything, but maybe there's a reason why I shouldn't be out in the heat with the mozzies in the garden by myself right now. Now, so I did. I, I left all that and I came in and I'm um, doing videos, which is awesome. But it got me thinking, when do you persist or when do we persist and just keep going versus when do we follow our intuition and do something else? I have no problem with staying out in the garden in the heat and spending hours out there. In fact, that's what I loved about this place when we first moved here, that there were hours and hours worth of things to be doing in the garden. That's not normally one I would consider I don't persist at. But we all know the experiences where you're in a job or a relationship or something that doesn't feel right, but your stubbornness tells you to persist and to work it out or work through it or find another way of solving something versus your intuition telling you it really is time to go. One example. You go to the other side, your intuition, do you use it as a cop-out? Like, oh, it's too hot, oh, it's too tired, I'll, I'll go inside, oh, my intuition was telling me so. I don't think I did that last bit. If anything, I don't follow my intuition enough. But it was a curiosity question. It got me curious enough, I thought I'd do a video about it. And I might even write a blog about it. Because... I see it as it's not actually mutually exclusive the more I think about it because we can persist with something and still hear our intuition lead us in another direction, gently nudge us in another direction. So I can't think of a project at the moment. Maybe the cricket machine, maybe the craft I was starting to do. Um, I left it because it's hard. But I haven't given up. I've just put it to one side because I have other things to do the garden or the um, writing but I'm looking up YouTube videos and a friend of mine will um, has been really helpful teaching me how to use cricket so in that case I haven't given up I've just found another way of doing it the same with the um, business ventures I had so last couple of years I've gone from full-time work to currently not any work um I did the market stalls for a while. I did the shop down the street for a while. And both of those things I did for varying degrees of time and then stopped. I still have the studio at home. So 
did I not persist long enough? Did I give up? Or did I follow my intuition that, okay, it's no good having a product that people don't necessarily, aren't necessarily interested in? Um, so to me, that's not giving up and I'm still persisting. I'm just finding other ways to do things. So I think I've answered my own question. I think the key is to use persistence and intuition together and work a solution to the problem. So did that help anyone on a Sunday afternoon? Have a great day, everyone. Bye.